Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a picture in this beautiful little book here. And um, that's the title. <laughs> I can't read it. I know I knew it at one time, but it's just a gorgeous book. And I've picked out um, a page in here that I'm going to do with watercolors. I'm going to do the one on this side here, the mice and the sweets. I'm doing this for um, a color, uh, color along with a tag, and it's coloring by Little Pickle. She is doing a sweet September colors. So what it is is any page that includes sweets, treats, lollipops, cakes, ice cream, cookies, etc. So anything that has sweets on it, and this page happens to have a lot of those on here. <laughs> so I thought I would go ahead and use my Arteza watercolors. These are the colors that are in the set. And uh, this is the set itself here. I have it open. And the box is like this. So we're going to um, color this page in with watercolors, or at least I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> I'm not as good as uh, May when she does these gorgeous pages, but I'm going to um, do the little mice and then we will see how far we get on this page. So I'm going to move the camera down and we will get started. Okay, we're going to um, do this little guy down here. He's holding a, looks to be like a meringue cookie. Yum yum. <laughs> One of my favorites. We're going to do two of these in gray and then one in brown. And the cut of the set obviously does not come with a gray. So I'm just going to take the black and water it down a lot to make a gray. And I'm just going to put it over here on the tin, add water to it until I can get a really light color. We have my little rag over on this side. So we're going to take a little bit of that. And we're going to start with him, and we're just going to put some of that down. This is a Pentel water brush. I'm just going to go up to his little feet, and I think I will probably need to put a paper behind here. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> He's so cute. And if I go out of lines, it's okay. I'm not going to be threatening about this. I'm going to pause the camera and slip a piece of paper under here. Took a little longer than I thought. <laughs> I'm going to um, kind of put my brush down and get some of this paint mixed in there just a little bit better. And I'm just going to get water and kind of blend this out where I went out of bounds. I shouldn't say out of bounds, where I went out of the lines. Here we go, we're going to add a little more of the watered down color here. I want to make it darker around his neck, but I don't want a line really. darker on this side. A little darker down here on the bottom. And then up by his um, little eye here, I want it darker. And by his nose. Then he's got some ears here, so we're going to put a little color in his ears. Okay, well that's good for him. We're going to do this little guy up here in the corner. I have the page clipped because <laughs> I haven't opened the book too much and it flops all over the place. I'm going to kind of do him the same way. Light gray, if I can get him light gray. 
little bit on his ear. He looks to be snagging a cookie too. I don't know what kind of cookie that one is. darkness under here but I'm going to keep his little nose white or his little um, under his nose white <laughs> little cheeks and I think he has an extra hand up there somewhere okay just a little darker down here Okay, now we're going to do this little guy in brown, and I have a couple of choices of brown. I have um, burnt umber and sepia brown, and I'm going to kind of mix the two, but I'm going to water those down quite a bit too, because I don't want him or her, I haven't decided, uh, too dark. Okay, so nicely watered down. Do the same thing. Kind of dark around the edge. And lighter up the back. We got two years on this guy. And an extra hand on that side. that one a little darker because it's behind okay we've got tail on two of these guys I had to look <laughs> his eye here, up his ear, okay, so I'm going to do his little tail since I've got him here. Add a little of that sepia brown here. And we will do this little guy's tail. I don't see one on him, so we'll just re wet that dark gray color. him a little dark gray tail. There we go. I want a little pink on their feet, so we're going to take some of the fuchsia, which is this um, really bright color here, and we're going to wet that down a lot and make a very light pink. Hopefully. Okay, and we're going to add a little pink to their feet, inside their ears, and right around here where their nose is possible. I think that's his nose. We'll do the same on all of them, a little pink if we can find them, a little pink on their nose and a little pink in their ears. And then this little guy here. I think his nose is right about there. I 
I think that's a tiny little foot. So we're going to move a pink right there. A bit much. We can add some of this pink to this one's tail. Okay, very light colored, but... And they're cute. <laughs> okay, we will, let's see, find a red and we will do um, the cherries. So we're going to try to do the cherries. So that looks like a nice red color. Mm -hmm. So that one is the fourth one in. Put that on the palette here. Sorry, you can't see the palette. And I'm just going to get it really wet here too because I don't know bright colors scare me <laughs> so we're going to add in going to leave a um, shine spot on that Do the other one. And we'll just add a little bit more of the darkness around the edge here is just a solid color without watering it down so we can get a little shadow going more of a cherry color Then we're going to get it really wet here and just lightly add some of that pink into that shine spot. So it's a little pinker. That looks okay. We have a strawberry over here, so we probably should do it since I have red out. And I think we'll put a little scarlet red into that. It looks a little more strawberry. I don't know if that's right, but it's a little more. Not so pink. <laughs> Get all the dark spots first. And I'm just going to tilt the brush and add a little more water in there. Okay, strawberry. I'm going to add a little um, deep red that too just on the side over here that dry. We have fruit. Uh, blueberries. What color blueberries? Let's see. I think I'll use the uh, Persian blue for the blueberries. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's the dark one. Okay. We're gonna 
We wet that down a lot too. At one point I will probably get a little more ambitious with the brightness of these colors. Just gonna go around, leave the darkness on the outside of these. And then just get some water on the brush here and touch it, bring it in. Okay, so we're going to do that to all of these little blueberries. I was upset this year. We have, um, five blueberry bushes and we did not get one single blueberry this year. The birds got them all so I have to now get a netting to put on them for next year so they don't come and eat them again. I really like my blueberries. <laughs> So we have them that they, they bloom at different times or they bury at different times of the season. So we have an early one and a middle and a late and didn't get a single berry. Not cool. <laughs> My daughter makes a killer blueberry cobbler. So I have to buy blueberries at the store to get that this year. Okay. Go around the darkest part of these berries again. Just darken those up. pretty good. Like I said, it's my first time doing this. <laughs> we have some blueberries up here too, so I might as well get those done too. some water on the tray. There we go. Sometimes the water brush just doesn't want to give out some water. I have to clean it. Not that I'm lazy or anything, I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> those <laughs> light and then come in with the darker. And 
that one up there is not dark enough. Okay. I know I'll have to come back in and darken those up, but you can always darken it. You have a harder time lifting it up. At least I would. <laughs> okay, we have a banana here. The bananas are kind of beige. <laughs> Boring and beige. I have a yellow ochre here, so if I water that down, I could get kind of a beige out of that, I think. Um, did I just mix it with the blue? Yes, I did. Let's see. Just add some water in there. Try to get a nice banana-ish color. Okay, the darker where the seeds are, so we'll start there and then just lightly go out. And get a banana color. A little brown in there. A banana. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What else can I do that's not going to cause too much problem here? It should be dry so we can try the biscuit. And a brown. Biscuit color. Good. See how that dries. Okay, we have um, some citrus. So we have either a lemon or an orange. Or lime. <laughs> Here, I'm going nice. It's so big, and we got a little dish of. Um, ice cream here, so I'm thinking this would either be a lemon or lime, and this would be probably a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make this one. Hmm. I'm going to make it a lime. Why not? We'll make it green. So we have. What is this one? Spring green. It's a nice green color. And we'll add that in. And down here on the rind. Okay, and we'll add a little darker green, which is uh, olive green. We'll see how that works. For the rind down here, it needs to be darker. Okay. We'll put a few of those striping going in here where the segmentation is. 
maybe a little down here for shadowing. Try not to get it in my mouse. <laughs> The area probably should have been wider, so we're going to take some of that color out. Okay, I'll let that dry. dying to do this little macaron macaron <laughs> I'm gonna do it in the pink color so that is uh, magenta and I have some here I want a pink one we wet that make it light pink I'm going to color it all in with the water. And then just add a little more in there. Get a nice shadow. It on the ceiling, we'll have it raspberry filled or something. <laughs> okay, we'll let that dry. We have a sprig of mint. What color should mint be? I'm going to go with this uh, fern green for fun. Let's see. And then we're going to do. light coating of that and there's a little guy over here so we might as well get him at the same time double check to make sure there isn't a ton of it somewhere else that I don't know <laughs> add it in to darken some areas could so the leaves look like they're standing up a little bit, a little curled. Let that dry and see how that turns out. Got some pink in this leaf. Adding water to try to get that out. Okay. <laughs> Cantaloupe up there, that's what that is. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and let this dry and then we will be back. Okay, we're back and we're kind of dry here, so 
I'm going to do um, this. I think it's another banana, so when I have the banana uh, color out, I'm going to go ahead and do this one as a banana. Banana chip, I guess. Brown in that. Kind of looks like the other one. Can use a little more brown in there. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to do some of these uh, little meringue cookies here because they are also going to be kind of a beigey color. It's kind of white actually, but um, I'm just going to add some color in here around the edges. Just kind of beige that I made when I was coloring the banana. And the um, biscuit. <laughs> I do have another cookie here, so since I have this color, I'm going to put it on this biscuit type cookie. It's a little lighter than what I have on this little banana. That banana, I'm having problems with the color of that one. <laughs> okay, um, ladder. It's going to be brown. So, I mean, you've seen my brown choices, burnt umbers sepia brown. Go in. Just mix those two colors up and come up with a brown and we will just paint that on here. to do the um, rails so our little mousey doesn't fall down. Go. I'm going to kind of just put some sepia down here just to get this a little darker. And do the same thing on this side. Oops. You just kind of blend that out with water. Okay, good letter. All right. Okay. Cookies are done. Biscuits are done. We're going to move upward. We have some berries here. 
-hmm. and I think I'm going to make them um, raspberries. Bring some of the more of that red up here. So we're going to do them in deep red. some red red just gonna add that in there on that side. Okay. Raspberries. We have another cookie of some sort. This one I'm going to make orange. So we're going to get some orange going here. Oops. Hold on a second. Okay. Kitty cat. <laughs> orange, orange. Let's see. We've got oops, some saffron orange, chrome orange, a golden orange. So I think I will probably be picking these two, um, the chrome orange and the golden orange. And we'll mix those up. We'll start with the um, chrome orange, or <laughs> I can speak, chrome orange, and we're going to go around the edge here, where our rind would be. Okay, and we are going to bring it in rather light where the pith should be. Okay, and we're going to take the golden yellow and bring it in here. And just kind of mix it in there. And grab some of that orange back in here. We'll take some of the, what is this one now? Cadmium light yellow with some of that orange we had. Lighten it up and we're gonna put that in here just to brighten that up a little bit. go in there with pencils see what we can do to help that little orange out <laughs> it has to dry first though okay there we go orange done orange lime cookie so oh, this one here I've decided was a slice of a strawberry so we're going to get the strawberry color that we had out and do the bottom darker and then go up towards the light. And we put a little brown in here, I believe, just to darken it up. Okay. 
I think we have a burgundy or the deep red. Let's try the deep red. There we go. There we go. Pretend that's a strawberry sliced. <laughs> we have a cantaloupe of some sort here. Uh, it could either be a honeydew melon or it can be a cantaloupe with a beige color to it. So, oh heck, we will do the beige color. Um, what did I pick up here? Naples yellow. We're going to go across the rind because I'm not sure what this color is. And then we're going to just kind of pull it in, lighten it up as we add water to it, and see what we get here. Okay, we're going to add a little um, brown into the uh, rind a little bit here, just to darken it up a little. And then we're going to let that dry and see what we can do about it. that coloring. <laughs> okay, we have a pudding on this side. <clears throat> so kind of a caramel pudding or a caramel topping. I'm not quite sure. So if we're doing a caramel topping, we'll take a little bit of the huh, Arulian yellow and mix it with the Naples yellow or Naples it's not yellow what is it Naples it is Naples yellow okay I'm trying to make a caramel color I'll throw a little brown in that I have some brown on this palette so we're just gonna mix it and see what we come up with here <clears throat> and um, is that going to be too close to the uh, cantaloupe color so we're going to darken it guess I could make it fudgy Throw in some extra brown in that, down at the base here. Kind of a little hole there. And we'll let that dry and see what it does. And then I'll have to work on the um, pudding after this dries. Okay. And we can bring in some really nice dark brown, which is just the two tones of brown I have. And I'm going to make this a chocolate 
um, drizzle that goes on here. Black hot fudge. So I'll we'll just add <clears throat> that in. I'll probably go over that with some chocolate uh, uh, pencil and get that nice and dark. Put a little down there. Okay, what else can I do? <laughs> Let's see. Um, a little darkness to this banana, it lost its center a little bit. Okay, um, do, 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 do. let's see, we've got kind of brown, brown, brown. We're not as brown as I thought we were, kind of pinkish colored, but that's okay. Um, we've got whipped cream, we have a cherry on the top. So we're going to do the cherry, and then I think I'm going to call this part one. So all this has got to dry anyway. And I have to figure out... And what else I'm going to do here, add a little water to the brush. too. Okay, we're going to let this dry and then we will come back for part two. Thanks for watching guys, especially since this is <laughs> a novice approach to watercoloring. And I will see you in part two. Take care everyone. Bye now.